Brain plasticity is also called neuroplasticity. It means the brain has the ability to change at any age. It is an odd term because when people hear the word plastic, they think of plastic wrap or plastic bags or plastic bottles. However, brain plasticity is a common term used by neuroscientists referring to the brain's ability to change at any age. As you can imagine, this flexibility plays an incredibly important role in our brain's development or decline and in shaping our distinct personalities. The brain has 10 million neurons to help make these changes. Brain plasticity is a physical process. Changes in the physical brain show a change in our abilities. For example, each time we learn a new dance step, it reflects a change in our physical brains. New neural pathways give instructions to our bodies on how to perform the step. Each time we forget someone's name, it also reflects brain change. Neural pathways that once connected to the memory have been disconnected. As these examples show, changes in the brain can result in improved skills, such as a new dance step, or weakening of skills, such as a forgotten name. There are two different types of brain plasticity. The first occurs when infants are born and start developing into children. Studies have shown that the immature brain grows and creates neural pathways at a super fast rate as the brain is flooded with new sensory input from the outside world. The second type occurs over the course of a lifetime as the brain changes with age to reflect new experiences and events. Additionally, the brain demonstrates tremendous plasticity when it is injured. Without this characteristic, the brain would remain static, frozen at a particular point in time. It allows the brain to do everything from learn how to speak to refining physical movements such as those associated with playing a musical instrument. Every time the brain encounters information, it reworks itself to accommodate it and creates a map of the information it contains so it can readily retrieve information when it is needed. People always need to be able to store and interpret new information, making brain plasticity cri critical to function at all ages. In addition to reworking itself to store information and organize it effectively, the brain can also repair itself to some extent. When an area of the brain is damaged, the activities associated with that region will sometimes move to another area of the brain, allowing the person to recover functionality. This type of brain plasticity is critical for people recovering from brain injuries. One of the most startling examples of brain plasticity is the quick and almost complete recovery of most hemispherectomy patients. A hemispherectomy is the surgical removal of one hemisphere of the brain. Neuroplasticity explains why the hemisphere that remains intact is able to recover many of the functions that were once the job of the missing hemisphere. Plasticity is the ability of the brain to change.